Hey, so in this video, I want to show you how to copy trace from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. Okay, if you want to copy from MetaTrader 5 to MetaTrader 4, there is another video on the website. Uh, but for this particular, we will focus on copying from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. Okay. Um, it's very simple to copy from like any MetaTrader to like any way you like. It's just a matter of where you attach the server EA and where you attach the client EA. Because if you attach the server EA on MetaTrader 4, it will become a master and will send the trade. So if you attach the server EA on MetaTrader 5, it will just start copying from that MetaTrader 5. So it's like, it's simple as that, but I understand that if you're not very tech savvy, it might be complicated for you, but you know, so in this video, we're focusing on, on copying from MetaTrader 5, sorry, MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. So first um, I have the my downloads folder there and I have this file downloaded. So you will get a similar file depending on the license you purchase. So it could be personal or manager, or in my case, it's VAP license. And uh, this is the latest version we have. So if you're watching this later, the version might be different. File name might be a bit different. So don't worry. Basically, you download that from the download center. And, you know, the link was sent to you by uh, by email. So after you download, you will have a file similar to this. And uh, we have to extract it. So I will extract it. And this is what we will get. So we get a folder by the same name. And if I go inside, we will find a bunch of files there, okay? So for those people who are not bored to read documentations and watch videos, you can go inside there. We have an ebook uh, that's in English and also Spanish and uh, it just explains you the process of how to copy trades from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 4. So the same principles for MetaTrader 5 as well, but I'm shooting this video just so you have all the steps uh, included. Also, we have online documentations and there are a bunch of really cool tutorials and, and videos you can see. And uh, here we have installations. So. This is for manual installation for MetaTrader 4. This is for manual installation for MetaTrader 5. So next we have auto installers. As you can see, those are four auto installers. Now, why do we have four of them? Okay. So these two are for MetaTrader 4, as you can see. And one of them is a server and another one is a client. So obviously the server goes on the account that you want to act as a master, so we, so whatever you do on that account, it will send the trades to clients. And obviously the client installation goes to, in a, to all the accounts that you want to receive the trades from that master, yeah? So this is for MetaTrader 4, and those two are for MetaTrader 5. And it's again the same, server and client. So server goes on the account that you want to copy trades from and clients go on all the accounts you want to copy trades to, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, you will see they have different versions. That's totally normal, guys. Don't mind that uh, because they are managed as separate software, even though it's the same, but the code is totally different for MetaTrader 5 and 4. So we manage them like differently, okay? Um, when we code stuff. So first, before we do installations, uh, I, I also want to show you that, um, where are my MetaTraders? So look, I have this folder that I call my MetaTraders and I will not go through installation of MetaTrader. Okay, guys, so there is on another video on the, on the website, but uh, I'm sure you pretty much know how it's done. The most important thing when you follow the installation, whether it is MetaTrader 4 or 5, is that when you launch the auto installer, you first click the settings button, basically. Okay. You, I think you need to accept the agreement and then you go to settings button. Don't, don't just go next, 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 that, you know, 
Just click settings and it allows you to change the folder where you want to install it. This is how you can install multiple MetaTraders from the same broker. If the broker is different, usually the you know, installation um, destination folder is different. So you can install them just you know, like uh, uh, without, without changing any settings. But if you're installing a installation of MetaTrader from the same broker, it will always install in the same place. And, and you, know, you, you have to change the location for the installation so you can have multiple installations. So as you can see, I have one for DarwinX, this one is for IC Markets. There's another one for IC Markets. Then we have GBA Brokers, Scandinavian, Pepperstone, GBA Brokers, GBA Brokers. It's like here's MetaTrader 5 for Darwin X. So you can do any naming convention you would like for your MetaTraders, but this is generally what I do, okay? So I type in, it's either MetaTrader 4, I type in the number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, and then I add a name, um, and sometimes I add whether it's a master or a client, okay? So, but obviously any master can become a client anytime you want. It's just a matter of whether you install a client EA or server EA on it, okay? So we just skip the MetaTrader installation step and just imagine I just installed four MetaTraders and I have one right there. It's GBA Brokers MetaTrader 4. Another one is... Uh, uh, Darwin X MetaTrader 5. This one is Meta, uh, Admiral Markets MetaTrader 5. And then we have Scandinavian Markets MetaTrader 4. So as you can see, you have like these different variations. We also have the Trade Copper already pre-installed from my previous setups and everything, you know, so I didn't delete that. But I will still go through the setup. So first I will go with installing Surrey EA uh, for the MetaTrader 5. So I click that, I accept the agreement, I go next, I go next. And generally what I do, just to make it simple for me, you know, I don't worry like, oh, which one MetaTrader I have to pick, you know. If I really have to pick, like I need to install this on, I don't know, Darwin X. So I usually, I can input Darwin X and it will highlight, you know. So that's why it's very easy for me to find it when I install my MetaTraders that way, you know, I add a name of the broker. Um, but whatever naming convention for your installation folders you use, I'm sure you will be able to find the MetaTraders you want. Or well, just do it the lazy way, just select all, whatever. Yeah, click next. It will install just on all of them. Even if you have it there, you know, it just doesn't matter. Just override that, whatever. If it's in use, it might open a new window for you saying that, oh, we cannot override this file. So you just click no to all and that's it. So next I install client DA, select all, just simple like that. As you can see, it's like, it's truly really easy, okay? We spend a lot of time creating this installation wizard so that it's very easy for you, okay? And finally, Client EA for MetaTrader 4. So hopefully you was able to watch me doing all that so fast. If you need to copy trades manually and for some reason you cannot use auto installer. So for MetaTrader 5, you do it like this. You copy this folder, you go to a MetaTrader 5, go file, open data folder, and there you see I'm called 5. Yeah. So you have to paste that folder and just you know if it asks you replace whatever replace that's it so this is that's it guys yeah installation is done okay so now i want to show you how to set it up to copy the trades so now we will copy trades from metatrader 5 so it means that we need to go to our MetaTrader 5. So we have two options there. So I will use uh, Admiral Markets as a server, okay? So after just installing, you will not see client or server EA. So you will have to refresh the list in Navigator. You can access it here, view Navigator, if you can see it. 
and you do it like this refresh and that's it it will refresh i would have them so i didn't actually need to do that but just showing you that so i will open any chart usually i recommend euro dollar but it just doesn't matter and i take my serie and i drag and drop it on that chart now here's one tricky part a lot of people miss when they install it so in many cases when you just have fresh MetaTrader installation, it will start like this without an OK button. And this is because allow DLL imports is disabled. Okay. So to make it like a permanent settings and make it your life easier later attaching the EAs, we go to tools, options. It's the same for MetaTrader 4 and 5. We go to expert advisors and we allow algorithmic trading and we allow DLL imports right there. So for MetaTrader 4, it's the same. It's just the thing it's called, yeah, it's called automated trading, not algorithmic, but whatever, it's the same. So allow automated trading, allow DLL imports. So you do that for all your MetaTrader platforms. And it will be easier for you to attach any A later, not just trade copper. So in this example, I have um, GBA brokers on MetaTrader 4, and I will use that as a master. So I will open any chart window, and I have my survey here right there. I attach it to the chart. I'll have to input the license key. It will look like something like this. You will find your license key in the uh, download center on the downloads page, there will be like a big bold letters and numbers. You can't miss it. Yeah, it will say license key. So you copy that, you go there, paste it right there, and you will have your license key ready. So for me, um, I have a magical version of, of Zeri. Yeah, I don't, I don't need license key. So I'll just click OK, and it just starts like that, OK? nothing to worry about for me. So then when I set up a client EA or server EA, so for this one, we'll do client EA, that's MetaTrader 5 on DarwinX. And I attach the client EA, we already have allow DLL imports enabled. Uh, if this is not enabled, the OK button disappears as you can see, yeah? So that's a trick tricky part. A lot of people attach the EA, they don't see OK button and they panic and they think their MetaTrader uh, platform is different somehow or whatever. But no, they're all the same guys. It's just a matter of the broker name and the logo. OK, it's it's like MetaTrader is always the same. So if allow DLL is selected, then you get OK button. If we go to inputs, we don't have to input license key for this one. Uh, and we have lots of settings there, but you don't have to understand all of them just to use it. Just the regular default settings will work 99% of the time, okay? Um, yeah, so our client is ready for this MetaTrader 5. We have another MetaTrader 5 right there, which is Admiral Markets. So I open chart, I attach the client EA, the LL imports enabled, I click OK. It just starts with default settings and is ready to use. And lastly, we have MetaTrader 4 from Scandinavian markets. So I will use that as well as a client just to make it funnier. Yeah. It's not just copying from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. It's also to MetaTrader 4 at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's ready. I have my master in MetaTrader 4, two clients, MetaTrader 5 and another client metrata for so that's like a perfect mix of a bit of everything yeah so open another chart on my master and i open for lot trade one lot it's copied as 0.6 on this one because it's a smaller account it's also euro this one is dollar so the client is euros it will do the proper conversion like everything it just has to do and for your accounts copying from dollar accounts, lot size is always slightly bigger because of the currency exchange is bigger, like by 6% comparing to dollar, yeah? So it will be bigger, but don't worry about that because um, 
even if the account sizes are different, sorry, the same, the euro lot size will be a bit higher. But in terms of percentage, it's risking the same. Now we have accounts smaller. So that's the lot size smaller as well. Uh, for this one, account is smaller as well. So it uses smaller lot size. For this one, account is bigger. So it uses a bigger lot size. So whenever you're risking, let's say 1% on the master, it will risk 1% on each of the clients if we don't mind all the feeds, commissions, like spreads and everything yet. So this might change you know, it a bit, but uh, but it's risking the same roughly 1%, like if we were risking 1% on the master. Yeah? Uh, it's very difficult for me to demonstrate that because we will have to spend a lot of time waiting for the trade to get the stop loss and yeah, blah, blah. So we don't want to waste time there, which is just so you know that if we make 1% or lose 1% on the master, so it will gain or lose 1% roughly on the client. The amount of money will be different because account balances are different, but in terms of percentage, it's the same, okay? Um, yeah, so let me also demonstrate that we can add a stop loss and take profit, and it will obviously copy that as well. And even if I remove stop losses and take profits from all the client trades like that, Eventually, after some time, it will the client TA will synchronize them and make them match the master. So that's the job of client TA. Yeah, it always tries to make both accounts, like master and client, to look the same for the trades. So the same stop loss. Look, it just got them back. Yeah. Uh, there is an option that you can turn this off if you want to have different stop losses and control them manually, but that's in the tutorial uh, of another, you know, uh, video. So I, I don't want to overcomplicate this. Just so you know that it will copy like every action we do. Even if we close half of the trade, it will close half of the trade on all the accounts. Look, you just close half of it, yeah? And if we close half of it further, it will close half of each of those further as well. And and even though lot sizes are different, it just cuts them in half, like for whatever percentage of account they close that uh, of the trade, yeah. And if I close that fully, it will close that trade fully on all the accounts as well. Okay, so as you can see, just always mimics everything I do on the master, and it just tries to make it uh, exact the same, and it works for pending orders as well. Okay, actually, that that's what I use always to try. Um, if it works, if my setup works, uh, because for testing purposes, I didn't want to open a bunch of buy and sell trades on my master and have all those copied to my live accounts or whatever I'm doing there. Yeah. So it's always good to test with a pending order because once you place a pending order, it will get copied and you can delete that without affecting the account balance. Yeah? So that's a smart way to, to test if your trade copying works or not. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's basically was it. Copying from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. See you later.